How's it going? Everybody out here in the Lehigh Valley, we're talking to Sterling Wick here on the X at about 827 in the AM. And we're going to see what we can find out about this gentleman. I'm going to let him sit down and uh, get himself composed for a second or two so that we can, we can uh, possibly hear a song. Are you going to play a song for us sometime? Uh, no, I just thought I'd bring this guitar and uh, have you look at it. It is really nice to look at. <laughs> You're playing that guitar upside down, you know. I've been told that. Yeah, we noticed uh, on your website that you play the guitar upside down, so that's that's one of the first um, mysteries we're going to have to figure out with Sterling Witt here in his upside down guitar. I did like the two songs that we got to listen to from him today. Uh, we did listen to his uh, song called Desensitize, which I liked quite a bit, and then after that, because we got into a little girl theme, we listened to his song Cellophane. Cellophane. Easy for me to say. Cellophane Girl. They were both enjoyable. Okay. And I think the audience enjoyed them too. In fact, we got a call from one of our view one of our viewers, I can't say. No. Listeners, that's what they are out there, isn't it? They can be viewers. Yeah, we got a call from one of our listeners and he said, Man, you're playing a great variety of music. And I said, Yeah, what'd you think of that Sterling Witt song? He said, Wow, that was that was the first one desensitized. He said you sounded like somebody, now I forget who. Beck? Yeah, something like Old Beck. Yeah, I think that's what he said. He says, oh, he sounds kind of like Old Beck. I said, well, I can't wait until he comes in. I doubt that he's much like Old Beck, but we're going to find out. <laughs> All right, well, I'll play a song. Uh, this is Unconditional Love. It's on Shadows and Secrets. Unconditional Love from Sterling Witt. so funny. And of course, it's the, I'm still cracking up with the upside down guitar, but I, I've seen other left-handers play that way too. I guess they just picked up a guitar and never, re, you know, never redid the strings. Is that what happened to you? Uh, I was just a stupid kid mostly. I didn't know any better. And at, at the time, I didn't even know. I don't think I even knew uh, left-handed instruments existed. And I had a right-handed instrument. And I just figured uh, I can't play it the right way. I'm going to turn this thing upside down and see what happens. 
Well, that's it. I guess it worked for you, man. It sounds really good. I love your voice. Oh, thanks. It's got a lot of um, a, a lot of range and a lot of different depths to it. Do you ever take lessons singing, or just natural? <laughs> uh, you're a natural at that too. Uh, I wouldn't say uh, natural is the word, but uh, certainly never took any lessons. Wow, he's How long have you been playing? Uh, well, I played. The, I started playing the bass guitar when I was 15 years old. Okay. You graduated from the bass to the upside down on left-handed guitar. Yeah, I started playing guitar uh, when I was probably 18 and started singing shortly after that. And you, have you been writing songs the whole time? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, virtually that's all I do. I don't uh, <laughs> do covers or anything like that. It's, uh, it's more of a, an expression, an artistic expression for me. I don't, I don't really... I think I'm coming from a different place than maybe a lot of people, a lot of folks are. I'm not really, uh, I'm kind of painting the sound more than I am uh, writing, writing a song. Okay, so you're not like a balladeer, you're trying to put, it, put out a picture. You're also a visual artist, right? Yeah. 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 I, th I think that, that I, I do the same thing that I do with uh, painting or sculpting or drawing that I do with the guitar. It, it, it seems like the very same process. To me. That's really cool. Must be fun to be talented, right, Dan? Must be. How, how would we know? I'm, lo I'm just looking at some of these drawings on uh, Sterling's website, sterlingwit.com. That's wit with two T's. You can go there yourself. These are some intriguing drawings. Too bad we can't show them over the radio, but... Well, just des describe them to us. No, never mind. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of an art critic. So you've been, so you've been writing songs and... You, or, or, is it mostly drawing that you do, or do you work in other mediums? Uh, I do uh, painting, uh, sculpture, and uh, some collage and drawing. Okay, so you're, you're you're working the whole the whole boat there. That's pretty neat. Where are you from, Sterling? Kansas City. Kansas City. Well, close to Kansas City. I live in, near Freeman, Missouri, but no one knows where that is, so I say Kansas. No, I don't. I don't know where Freeman is either. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, about 50 minutes away south from Kansas City. Is your is your music in any way influenced by the uh, you know the music of Kansas City? I mean, Kansas City's always had a you know a great music scene, a lot of blues. Sure. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it's influenced by Kansas City. I haven't always lived there. I lived in uh, California for a while. I lived in Colorado for a while. And I think that wherever I am, the environment definitely is influencing the music. But Where do you call home now? Uh, I live where I'm from, believe it or not, uh, near Freeman again. Oh, okay. So you can go home again? Uh, apparently. That's great. What brings you up to this part of town? I understand you were playing up in Jim Thorpe uh, Friday night, is that right? Yeah, I've had a few shows up in this area. I've got uh, some coming up August uh, 7th. I'm playing at the Wildflower Cafe. Oh, cool. And between now and then, I'm off to New York and uh, New Jersey for a while. You doing anything there? You got any gigs going there? Yeah, I'm playing at the National Underground. Uh, July 24th and playing at the Brick Wall on July 20th in wow. Asbury. Stay busy, man. Down in Asbury, that's, that should be a fun trip, too, because it's it's crowded down there right now. August 7th at the Wildflower Cafe. If I'm not mistaken, that's day two of Music Fest, so you'll be uh, a part of the Music Fest scene, which yeah. is always popular. Yeah, that's cool. Is that day two of Music Fest? That's a I believe it starts already. on the 6th, right? Oh, my goodness. All right. You're going to uh, treat us to another burst of music here? Sure. Mm -hmm. I would love